Hey guys, what's up? Toyba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game. And today we're going to be doing a run with Sudan. Uh, someone said to me, hey Toyba Loco, can you do a qualifying run in 2014, but an African team? And he said, pick any African team. So I was like, okay, we'll do an African qualifying run on 2014, since we haven't done one for quite a long time. And then I noticed some guy has been saying to me, hey, can you do Sudan? And I was like, why not combine the two requests together? And boom, that's what I thought I'd do. So we're going to do Sudan on 2014 today. I hope we can have a good fun run today. As you all know, the first video in the series on 2014 is just the friendly matches and fleshing the team out and seeing how well we'll do. But first, we have to find out our first qualifying opponent for round one of the African zone. So these are the real groups and uh, matchups, I guess. So we're going to shuffle them in three, two, one, boom. And where are we? We got Liberia in matchup six. There we go. So, okay, I'll take that. You know, they're a team that's probably on the same level as us. And yeah, I'm liking that because we avoided some of the bigger teams like Togo, Zambia, Angola, you know, teams like that. So I'm very happy. All right then, so I noticed that Sudan have some decent friendly matches. So we got Eritrea next. And then I think after that, we've got Guinea, Anguilla and Canada. So that's really something to look forward to in the friendly portions of the matches. We have a 65 rated striker and one of the midfielders is actually rated 67. So if we can keep good form in the friendly matches, then I think we can build this midfield to be a semi-decent midfield that can really um, battle with the best teams in Africa. Right now though, we have a matchup between Sudan and Eritrea, both neighbours, so I don't know if this is a rivalry game or not. I have no idea about the geopolitical stuff between these two. It was really cool that I was able to combine both the requests together. You know, one guy said, hey, can you do an African team on 2014? And then I spotted that someone was requesting Sudan for quite a while. So I was like, yeah, just merge the two together. How will Sudan do in these friendly matches? I think against Eritrea, we should be winning because in my opinion, Eritrea are one of the worst teams in the game. I feel anyway. I'm sorry to any Eritreans out there, but it's kind of true. I mean, your squad is rated one of the lowest in the game. It's always fun going into runs that, you know, are kind of blind, if you know what I mean by that statement. So, a team that I've never used before. Sudan, I've never ever used them on the 2014 game. Even when, before I started YouTube and everything. Still got it. <laughs> Eritrea has just committed a foul and this is a good chance to score. Can we maybe put it into the back of the net here? Mustafa. Oh, that wasn't a bad attempt. You know, I said that at the start, that Eritrea are one of the worst teams in this uh, game, in my opinion. Well, I reckon they might humble me. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I say, like, this team's not very good or whatever, they tend to... Oh, my goodness. Um, they tend to absolutely humble me. And they almost did there with that free kick. That's a good ball. And Eritrea have just got in behind my defence and they're doing quite well to be fair. We're not playing that well but again it's the first match. I don't expect to be all guns blazing already. And that was kind of close but it's going to go to half time with a score at 0-0. Sudan have had the better chances. Uh, Eritrea hit the bar with a free kick as well so slightly competitive game but no goal so far. Dribble. Oh here comes Bashir. Oh, just wide. Oh, I need to get our shooting boots on, Sudan. This is Eritrea. Like, your neighbours, I get it. That is kind of a mini derby game. Or I don't know if it's actually a massive deal in these two countries. But, yeah, come on. Toss that in. Header. Oh, somehow that's gone in. I didn't expect that. And Tahir has scored to make it 1-0 to Sudan. Great goal. I mean, I didn't expect it. But, yes, 60th minute. And that is 1-0. I can't believe that wasn't a foul. I thought I absolutely fouled him there. Go for the strike and caught. That's probably going to be the last kick of the game. A simple 1-0 victory here. Well, at the moment. Unless we 
concede late on, which I doubt we will because we're pretty good in defence and midfield. But a decent win, especially for the start of a qualifying campaign. It's not that bad. Got the ball back. Should we go for it? Yeah, okay, that's going to be the last kick of the game. And that is a decent win for Sudan. Not a bad one. Only a 1-0. And the header separated the two sides. It was a decent goal. And we go on to the next friendly match. Second friendly match of this video is going to be against Guinea. Very, very tough test coming up. But I have faith in my defence. I have faith in them. But Guinea are... Very good on this game. Very underrated side. They're kind of like Mali in 2010. Mali in 2010 are extremely underrated. And Guinea on this game are like that, basically. They're very underrated. Sometimes they, if I'm not playing in the African region, or if I'm not playing as Guinea, they will probably more than likely qualify most times. Through ball. Go on. I'm going to need you to shoot Sudan. Oh, I couldn't do it. I literally was mashing that B button, and I'm still with it here. Oh, come on. It's a free kick to Sudan on the edge of the box for a little foul. So Mustafa, oh, if that was just a little bit higher, I think that would have floated into the top corner. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. There was a penalty shout there. I literally got fouled in the box off the ball, and the referee just turns a blind eye to it. Win this game, and it'll be a potential massive... Like gold mine of green form, and that's what I love. I always tell you guys the importance of these friendly matches. That's why I do them on camera, just to show you guys that I am preparing for these qualifiers properly. We never do it on 2010 because, you know, 2010 is quite an easy game to do it, but 2014 requires a lot more preparation. Go on, go for the strike. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That tested the guinea keeper. Looked like a bit more height, and it might have actually gone in. Come on, that's a good chance. I can see it. Here comes out to here. Can you do it? Oh, just wide there from out to here. And that's going to be half time. That was a hell of a chance to go 1 0 up before half time, but we couldn't take it. But Sudan have been pretty impressive in this match. I find on 2014 quite a lot that with smaller teams, I won't score that many unless it's against another smaller team. But. I will always defend pretty decently. I always find that I can really defend quite well on this game. Until I come up against a team like Germany, of course. Missed tackle there from Guinea. This could be a chance into the middle. Good save from the Guinea keeper. He's kept out some good shots from Sudan. 90th minute plus two added on. Can Guinea get a winner? I hope not. I really would like the stat boost from the draw. It would be very nice. We've done quite well to stop Guinea here. They haven't been that brilliant. Sudan were good. It's just that they need to be a bit more sharp in front of net. We always get this kind of problem with some of these teams. Our third friendly match is against Botswana away from home. We don't really get the chance to play Botswana too many times in qualifying campaigns. I don't know why. We've never used them either. So maybe we definitely need to do a run with Botswana in the future. Good ball. Molloy crosses that one in. And okay, defender. The goalkeeper had that, but all right. Uh, good tackle. Can we push up? Come on, keep pushing, Sudan. I'd like you to push properly. That's a decent ball. But just couldn't hold on to it. That's a problem. We just can't hold on to it. But Botswana just giving it to us. And it just goes wide. Great challenge. What a save by the Botswana keeper. What a save. I thought I was clean through then. But no, these goalkeepers are really... Doing the business against us. And what a ball that was to Botswana. Referee, really? Where was the foul on that? Botswana, a very physical team. I don't know how highly rated they are, but they're very physical. Into you. And offside. I didn't even mean to pass it to him. I knew who I wanted to pass it to. The guy to the right of that player, but no. Crossed in by Botswana. Headed. And that was a good chance to go 1-0 up. Oh, mistake by the def defender. And that's a good save. Can we get the ball back? We got it here. 
and just oh, it's just annoying how we just can't uh, properly get past the defense tackled and oh, by the time I set myself up they tackle you it's crazy how many shots Sudan have technically had in this but we still can't find a winner oh great takeaway can we do it cross that in header oh saved again oh no blocked it's just been a block party from the goalkeeper and defenders it's just been a massive block party unbelievable how many shots we had but we just can't score the issue with Sudan is striking we just can't score these teams are setting themselves up basically to defend against us and we can't score even when we have open goals we can't put the ball away I'm sorry if it's a little bit on the boring side this run at the moment. I swear we will improve. Our next friendly game is going to be against Anguilla. I really wanted to play this one on video because Anguilla hold a special place in my channel of course. Being the very original run that I ever did. That the, Literally Anguilla were the ones that started it all. And yeah, so hopefully we can beat him here today. I do need the... The victory we haven't won for a little while probably in two games maybe through ball go on good goal nice one finally we actually get a decent goal but it is technically against one of the worst teams in the world out of here scores to make it 1-0 and we hit the ground running against Anguilla sorry Anguilla I had to do it to you decent movement and bang straight in go on yeah nice one that's another one out of here scores again 2-0 well done uh not much i can say really but we just need to stat pad against this team to make the goals better and um obviously make the video a bit more interesting it's half time and sudan are leading 2-0 routine really for this team they should be beating anguilla Probably one of the easier fixtures of the entire sort of friendly match schedule. Had six shots already. Stafford whips it in. Header. Off the line by Anguilla. Great defending. Good ball movement. And that's a third. And Bashir has scored to make it three. Nice one. Great performance from Sudan. We need this going into the Liberia game. We need as much goals and tackles and stuff like that as we can before we go into that match oh my goodness i didn't expect that to go near the net but it almost did uh let's try and get an assist with the goalkeeper let's be a bit silly let's be a bit silly for the end of this game it's only anguia right that's insane that is absolutely insane. Go go hug the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's got an assist in the friendly match. I can't believe that that happened. Good cross. Great header. I mean, we had to try it. It was against Anguilla. So, yeah, sorry again, Anguilla. You know I love you, really. And that is 4-0. A 4-0 win against Anguilla. Incredible result for Sudan. Finally, we get the explosion of goals that we wanted. On to the last friendly match, which is against Canada. This will be a great chance to see if we can beat another sort of middle of the road side. It'll be great to get a result, especially before we go into the qualifiers. Let's see if we can do it. We've been all over the world pretty much, playing teams from different regions and stuff. It's been great to actually come up against some of the, you know, better teams. If we can get a result here against Canada, then that would be perfect. A perfect end to this video. We have used Canada before, of course. And if you are interested, we've done a whole qualifying run with them. So you can go and check that out if you want to. Oh, I couldn't tackle him there. And we got him there. Oh, no, we didn't. Got him. Keep that on, maybe? No, of course not. And that's going to be a corner to Canada. Going to try our best in this one not to get our form damaged, but it might go that way. Through ball. That better not be offside. I don't think it is. No, it's not. And how are we not scoring in that situation? Like, okay, great save, but oh, that was such a good chance. Through ball. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Can we do anything here? Go for the strike. 
Oh, good save. I mean, that was a decent attempt because uh, the defender was closing me down. You know what would have been a cool feature to add to this game? Because I seem to play the same friendly matches pretty much all the time, like depending on which region I'm doing. But it would have been cool to schedule your own friendly matches. You know, like say the game gave you a pool of teams that you could have potentially like picked from and then you just schedule them as you go along. It's a final push for Canada here. Into the box, header, and it wasn't a good one. Canada have been below par in this match, I feel. They could have scored late on there. The header was not good. And that is going to be it. Another nil-nil. Like I said, Sudan just need to sharpen up in these kind of games. Like, the three-star teams and the two-star teams, we can't really score against. But at least the half-star teams and the one-star teams, we are actually beating. So... I guess that's okay, but like I said, just need to be a bit more sharp in front of goal, more clinical, and I think we would have beaten Canada here today. I'm not joking. We had some really good chances. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there for Sudan for now. Our next matchup for the next video will be against Liberia in the qualifying round one, so either the next video is going to be very short. Or it's going to be a standard video, depending on how the result goes. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first part with Sudan. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.